Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem knapsack. So this problem is uh, very widely uh, used for an example for dynamic programming. So be sure to uh, understand the problem and uh, how the logic uh, works because this particular uh, logic will be used in like various uh, problems you will be seeing in competitive coding or even in your interviews. So if you understood the logic means you, you could easily uh, use dynamic programming for solving most of the problems. So let's dive into it. Given an array of integers and a target sum, determine the sum nearest to but not exceeding the target that can be created. To create the sum, use any element of your array zero or more times. So this is like unbounded uh, knapsack. So you can use the same element again and again if you want to arrive at the uh, target sum. So you might select uh, these uh, arrays to get the uh, target sum. So in this case you can arrive at exactly the target. So here uh, we have to return an integer that represents the sum nearest to or without exceeding the target value. So that's our uh, objective here. And uh, here we have an example. We have like uh, two test cases. Uh, first one have like uh, three uh, uh, elements in the array and the sum we have uh, we have to get is like 12. So the maximum we can get is like 12 using the one itself. Uh, you can uh, use one like 12 times. And here we have five elements and the maximum we have to get is uh, nine. So we can get nine by using three, uh, three times. So that's how uh, you uh, reach the values. Okay, let's dive into the problem now. So I'm going to initialize a few things. So n equals len of array, just to keep track of number of elements in the array. And uh, I will use the memo variable. So usually uh, most of the variables will be used like, you can either use like dp or uh, memo, because this will be seen in like uh, most of the examples and I will initialize the array. So zero for i in range of k plus one and for j in range of n plus one. So this will be the two dimensional uh, array uh, we'll be uh, using for storing this uh, all possible uh, values of like k and n. And finally, I will call the function return knapsack of n k array and the variable memo. So let's uh, write this function now. So def knapsack of again n k array memo. Okay, now let's uh, define the logic one by one. First the base case if k equals 0 or n equals 0 that means we have reached the end so we have to return 0. So this is the base case and uh, check if we already computed the result. That means if we already uh, solved that uh, particular sub problem uh, we will just uh, return the result. So if memo of n comma k, maybe I'll just uh, copy it because I will just use it uh, multiple times. Not equal zero means some value is stored. So we will just uh, return memo of n and k. So this is like solving uh, sub problems and uh, using the sub problems result we will just uh, minimize the computation so we, we can easily avoid the repetition. Now the main logic. So if array of n minus 1 is less than or equal to k. So we are going from like a top down approach. So we are having like whole k. Uh, if the array element can be negated uh, by k means uh, it is possible to subtract from it. So for that memo of n minus k equals max of array of n minus 1 plus so we will adding this element with again knapsack of n 
because uh, we could use the same element uh, multiple times that's why I'm using uh, n here and uh, we will be having k minus array of array of n minus 1 then we will pass the array and memo so this is one uh, possible way you could uh, get the result or knapsack of so I don't add this element I'll just uh, move the number of uh, array elements to like n minus 1 so I'm just removing the last element uh, from the array for uh, consideration and uh, passing the same things again k array and memo so these are the possible cases that could happen uh, if array of uh, n minus 1 is less than or equal to k if it is uh, not less than or equal to k means we will go to the else part so before that we have to return okay I guess we can return at the end else memo of n and k equals knapsack of knapsack of n minus 1 comma k array and memo so this is the whole logic guys so if it is less means we are uh, adding that element uh, to the total value and uh, we are branching into the sub problem that is uh, we are negating that uh, that particular element from k and passing passing it as it is and uh, we are uh, removing that uh, element possible element and uh, we are considering the next possible combination that could form k and uh, if it is greater than that means uh, we couldn't uh, negate it so we will just uh, leave the last element uh, from the array and we will uh, consider the remaining elements to form uh, the next possible combination to find k and finally we will return memo of n and k so it will just uh, go deep and uh, solve the uh, sub problem from the base case and uh, so when we call this function it will just go until we reach this uh, base case and after we reach the base case we will keep on updating this uh, memo variable with all the previous sub, re sub result and uh, it will keep on filling and finally we will be getting our answer here so you could uh, trace this uh, problem maybe we could uh, trace a uh, sing uh, simple example I will take 169 1 6 and uh, 9 the total we have to get is 12 right yes uh, 12 so I'm considering the last element uh, now if it is uh, less than uh, it will uh, we will be just considering this and uh, we will negate this and uh, keep on uh, going so if we neg negate uh, 12 minus 9 that will be uh, 3 so for 3 uh, even if you consider the array again it will be bigger so it will uh, consider the next possible case I'm just considering only one case if you branch out like uh, all the possible cases means it will take some time so for 9 we are considering right so max of 9 plus that knapsack of n 3 array and memo so I'm just considering only this so if you go into this uh, logic again uh, for 3 um, 9 is uh, bigger so it will go to this uh, particular one and for 6 again it will go to this particular uh, condition and for 1 it is feasible so what it does is uh, again we will be having like max of 1 plus the same knapsack and uh, we will have it for like 2 and uh, we will again have it for uh, 1 and if you add the total 9 1 1 uh, 1 so for this we will be having again 1 and 0 
so for 0 we will just return 0 so if you add all all together 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 12 so we are getting the result and we will be just storing that result in this uh, memo variable and finally returning it so I'm just branched out for only uh, one possible case uh, even if you consider like the next possible case it will keep on going and uh, eventually it will uh, find the maximum possible sum that we can uh, get from this array and I think that's pretty much it guys let's run the code once to check whether everything is working okay I guess uh, in the test case we have to change the main function for underscore in range of t so this will uh, do the iteration like multiple times let's run it again okay now it passed the sample test case and apart from doing this you can also set this uh, recursion limit or else you will face some runtime error so set recursion limit of 10 power 6 now everything is set submit the code okay it is okay all the test case has been solved successfully i hope you guys understood the uh, logic so this logic will be used in like uh, many uh, problems so you you are understanding the uh, simple pattern here right so either we are checking the condition and uh, we are uh, negating either one array element or the uh, we are negating the value like that uh, we will just check all possible combination and we are also minimizing the repetition by keeping track of the result of that particular uh, index so this technique will be very helpful for uh, most of the problems we are uh, going to solve in future okay uh, apart from that if you have any other logic other than this please leave a comment below if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this stay tuned for the next video